toss it through. It's still loose. Okay, we we'll lift it up, pull it out. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the nuts on it to hold it and mount it to the Let's see. Now, the new ones that come out today, they all come with this plastic nut, which is real convenient. And the old ones, you know, they usually have the brass nut. When you go to try to take the faucet off, you usually run into a lot of problems. That's been like corroded or something on there. Okay. Let's see this one going. We have the kitchen faucet mounted to the deck of the kitchen sink. From here, we're going to hook up the supply lines. And the reason I hooked up the faucet first and the supply lines is that before I hook up the rest of the parts of the kitchen sink, there's nothing in my way to obstruct anything I might need to do. My vision, I can get in there and work with it. So now let's put the supply lines on, let's back up and let me give you a better view of how the supply line goes on. Now, what I like to do when hooking the supply line is up is I like to pre-measure it. And what we're going to use here is a plastic supply line. Check with your local codes. Some codes don't allow plastic supply lines, but let's face it, they are easy to work with. Now, what I do and what I mean is by pre-measuring is I like to set it up the uh, faucet and kind of line it out here. Let me get it. Line it up and get a rough measurement. It doesn't have to be exact, but you just you really want more. You want more than enough. Okay, so that looked like that'd be probably more than enough. And from there, we're going to cut it about right here. Now, they do have a tool for this. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is I'm going to use a pair of tinsnips, but they have a tool. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. Okay, and this should fit. Okay, now that we have the supply lines cut and ready to put in place, the first thing we want to do is put our compression nuts on. Here's one. This is go to the top which will go up and tie into the faucet itself. And here's the other one, which will tie into the cutoff valve up underneath. Now, we're going to need a compression ring right here, which is a ferrule. This here is called a ferrule, compression ring. Now, when you're working with plastic water lines, you want to use a plastic ferrule. Just apply a plastic ferrule on. Here's a brass ferrule. This you don't want to use with a uh, plastic water line because what it does when you tighten down on it and it tends to compress against the uh, plastic and cut the plastic which will, call it, uh, which will create a leak. Okay now let's hook this up to the faucet itself first and then come on down and hook this other end to the uh, shutoff valve. Okay, now we have the bottom view. Now let's go ahead and hook our supply lines up to the faucet stems. Okay, let's get it nice and tight, snug with our hands. That's one. Let's go ahead and hook the other one up. Oh, we're under here. That's two. Okay, from here, let's let us go and get our basin wrench. Get a grip on the nuts and tighten them. I'm up underneath here. Okay, now that we've tightened the nuts up on top with the basin wrench, let's go ahead and put the uh, supply lines on down here at the bottom with the cutoffs. Okay, now you see, just slip the, hole, the holes right into the slot it goes. Slide a pearl down. Okay. Let's line our supply line up to where we can start turning the supply nut. Okay. 
Okay, now we've got that one on. Let's do the other one. Like I said, it's best to give it too much supply line than not enough, because you can always cut a little more off. And you can see here we have plenty of supply line, which is good. Get that nice and tough, snug with our hands. Okay, from here, let's get our small crescent wrench. Somebody tighten the nuts up underneath. nice and tight to where we that compression ring ferrule is nice and smushed up against there so it won't water won't leak out okay this is what a basin wrench looks like you have jaws here right up here where you grab the nuts to the uh, faucet you have a handle where it gives you leverage to turn it and this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to use to tighten the nuts on the uh, kitchen faucet. Okay, now, see how the basin wrench allows you to reach up to the stem where the nut is, get it locked on there, and then just start twisting. See? Just turn. Get it tight. This is the purpose of a basin wrench. <laughs>